small circle, small circle, uh, big circle. This is not a bear, this is a pig. Here we go! Hey, what's up guys? Gian here of GadgetPilipinos.net. We are going to unbox a new device from Oplus. And this is the Oplus USA Notepad. The Oplus USA Notepad is basically the third device of, uh, third Windows device of Oplus. And uh, we cannot wait to show you what you can find inside this really very premium looking um, laptop from Oplus. Now, well, the first laptop that was released by Oplus uh, was last year. It was the uh, Oplus uh, Convertible. We reviewed that a couple of months ago on GadgetPilipinas.net. And uh, the second one was uh, we recently unboxed. That was the Oplus USA uh, Duo, which runs on Windows 10. At the same time, it also runs on uh, Android um, Lollipop. Now, this time, this isn't running on Android. It doesn't dual boot, but it has Windows 10 pre-installed, which is really nice and it has some really good um, features. Now, just to give you a quick specs before we proceed with the unboxing, I know you guys uh, cannot wait for this. Uh, this one has 4 gig of uh, RAM. It is 4G enabled. That means you can put your SIM in here and you can actually get um, data access through your SIM. Now, it also has 64 gig of internal memory, 10.1 inch of HD screen. It has Windows 10 pre-installed. It is powered by Intel. It has dual camera, HDMI, USB 3 compatible. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, it is 4G enabled and it accepts micro SIM. Now, this is uh, the retail box of the Oplus USA. It kind of resembles the Oplus convertible uh, box. Now here right here is uh, the uh, stylus that comes with the notepad. We're going to show you what uh, this one can do. Right. Now this is the notepad which uh, we'll take a look at in a little while. Just place it here for the meantime. Okay. Now uh, what we got is uh, an Oplus SIM card which is basically powered by Smart Bro, which is really cool. What you do is uh, you put it on the Oplus USA Notepad and it gives you 10 days of unlimited internet surfing plus 400 SMS. Now it is pre-cut, it is uh, available on regular cut, micro cut and nano, but since this one accepts micro SIM, all you have to do is uh, just cut the regular one and put it inside the Oplus USA with the micro um, size on, okay? It's not for sale, as I mentioned, it's included on the Oplus USA notepad. There's some flyer here that uh, says about what you can do with the Oplus notepad 4G. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other stuff. Now this is the uh, adapter that comes with it. Let me just check. Okay, this one is uh, 5 volts. There's also an included um, headphone and also a USB OTG um, cable, which you can use if you have USB devices or even storages. Okay. Here's the uh, manual okay. and also the service card for the warranty. Okay, so uh, now this is the Oplus uh, USA notepad. Um, let's open it up. Telepen. Okay. Now, since this one is uh, also a convertible, we can remove this from the dock. Okay. Now, the keyboard dock. What I can say is, on the keyboard, it has uh, it has very ample space in between uh, keys. So that's pretty cool. So that's it also says that it's uh, quite comfortable to type on. Uh, the only problem here though is uh, the backspace is too small, you might have some issues with it. But uh, it has escape keys F1 to F12. It has uh, function keys, uh, so if you want to uh, say disable the mouse, you can 
press Fn and F6 and uh, let's say if you want to put it on uh, um, let's say if you want to put it on airplane mode just press Fn and F3 now also it has notification key, uh, lights here for caps lock and it tells you if uh, the mouse pad is on or off the mouse pad is a little small but that's okay I guess because it has an intelli pen and you can use your finger to uh, register some an uh, input on the device okay Control keys are okay. Now the hinges, uh, pretty sturdy, I guess. And there's a contact point there so that uh, the device can register it automatically as a keyboard dock. No Bluetooth, so that gives uh, longer battery life for the notepad. Now it also gives you additional function because this one has uh, two USB um, ports for your equipment or for your other accessories such as microphone perhaps or external hard drive now this is uh, the O plus USA notepad as you can see right here it has uh, a Windows logo there which we of course don't know yet if can be touched and if touched it can go to desktop or probably pop up the uh, tile of Windows 10 Okay. At the bottom, uh, there's of course your contact point and uh, the magnetic uh, holes perhaps, if I may say, holes for the hinges right here. On the left side, um, we have uh, several ports available. We have uh, the 3.5mm headphone jack, an HDMI, mini HDMI uh, port, you have the USB 2. Um, port right here and USB 3 port and there's a micro SD card slot and SIM slot over here okay. you can see it clearly now on the uh, top there is the sleep and wake button and your volume keys on the right side you have the speaker grills that's basically it now you have here a rear uh, camera at the back and uh, there is another camera in front okay, right there I'll take this off okay. be shiny uh, I will not be removing the one at the back but I guess that's okay. I'll leave it there. <laughs> now we'll set it up first and then we'll show you how you viewable the screen is in different angles and uh, just give you a quick review on it. All right, we're back. We're, we have uh, already set it up. Now let me turn it on. Okay, there you go. We've already turned on the O plus USA notepad. Swipe. Okay. Now what's good about this is that since this one is a dock, it automatically um, sees that or acknowledges that if you dock it, it will switch to desktop mode. And if you dock it, undock it, it will switch or it will tell you to switch to tablet mode, which you can see right here, there. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this one runs on uh, Windows 10. Now, I just noticed that uh, the only issue here on the hinge or on the angle is that um, this is the uh, maximum angle that you can do with the O plus notepad. Okay. Now, if I undock it, let me see if uh, this one will register as a, if this is a capacitive button. Let me just uh, switch it to desktop mode again. Start menu. What it does is if you tap it, it brings out the uh, start menu and if it's on tablet mode say if we are on a certain application like uh, Netflix if I oh sorry if I tap this button it goes back to this view it's really nice okay. 
Now, what I'll do now is uh, I'm gonna um, hook it up on my Elgato and show you the different things you can do with the O Plus Notepad. I'll be right back. All right, so this is now the uh, O Plus uh, Notepad in action. Um, as you can see here, we have here the tiles on the Windows 10. We're using the IntelliPen as uh, one of our inputs, but you can actually use your finger because this one is a touch screen. Now, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna demonstrate on using the sketchbook for tablet. Okay. Now here, I've written something, Gadgetpilipinas. Now, what we'll do is uh, we'll try to draw something. There's an error here about the steam. Let's try to draw. Um, a bear. <laughs> I don't know if it's a bear. Uh, oh, it's too, too big. There, small circle, small circle, big circle. Now, the input is pretty accurate. Small circle, small circle, uh, big circle. This is not a bear, this is a pig. Alright, so just make it a bear. There you go. Is that <laughs> all right? So, yeah, it's pretty uh, well, it looks like a bear to me. <laughs> trip. Okay, so there now. The question now is will my wrist be registered as an input if I use it whenever I draw something on the screen? And let's see, let us see. I think it would be best if I demonstrate that by undocking it, it's the better way or best way to do it once I start drawing. And then things get really look nice. Okay. There are times that it is registered as a pan or a rotate, but I guess that's uh, negligible. This is an issue for me because you can always reposition it and erase this with uh, your stylus or your IntelliPen. There you go. Now let's try to use a different application. Now, at this point, let me just hit that uh, capacitive button. Let's try to use uh, hmm, fresh paint. I'm sorry. I have here fresh paint. There. Okay, I can draw with pen. Yes. Plus. Fresh canvas. There. You can drag this. And let's see. Let's use this for fun. Yeah. I'm an expert. Cool, like it. Pretty really accurate to me. It's really nice. Works perfectly. This one doesn't look like me, but that would do. That would do. Let's put some finishing touches on our drawing. Let's use this. Now, what color would we use? Actually, I don't know. How do we change the color? Oh, it's here. Color should be uh, black. There. There. See, I'm an artist. I'm a real artist and I can do it. I can do everything with the O plus both bad. Okay, let's put an eyebrow there. Oh, fuzzy eyebrows. Let's change that. Let's look for a different. Let's use this. 
there are times that it's difficult to press or to to select but I guess that's okay one of the good things about the O plus notepad is that you can actually put a SIM card on uh, the laptop and when you put the SIM card on the laptop you can actually use this to text your friends or send some messages to your friends or uh, receive calls but at, as of the moment uh, there are some bugs uh, on the O plus notepad the Windows 10 isn't actually that ready yet for this kind of functionality like phone and even messaging you get the sim that uh, comes with the O plus notepad this is the O plus um, sim now this is a smart bro so I would think that this one will soon be offered on smart bro as uh, one of their uh, flagship products for their services All right now the good thing about the O plus notepad is that since it is a Windows tablet it comes with uh, the mobile versions of Excel let's say we take a look at PowerPoint here now, there is a PowerPoint okay. personal Microsoft account yeah I do have a personal Microsoft account yep I have and let us uh, log in to our account there start using PowerPoint yes and there you have it I can use PowerPoint double tap to add title Now what's really good is the uh, typing experience. So far I like the typing experience on the O plus notepad. Okay, see if we have a game here. Let's see and try to test it. Oh, there you go. We have GT Racing 2. Let me just undock it. Okay. All right. That's what you want. Enter your driver name. How do I enter my driver name? Click. How do I put it? Oh, okay. Let me dock it first. Nope. There. GN. My name is GN. Uh, let's see. How do I zoom out? Ugh, that's how you zoom out. What if I want this? I don't want a Sonic. Oh, I like this. Okay, that's what you want me to do. Select the rate bracket. And what if I don't want to use this? Race. I would think that I can use this. And that's the problem. You will have to dock in and dock it if you want to type something. You have to dock it, and if you want to play the game, then you undock. Not that I'm complaining, but you know, it's a silly implementation. Turn right, turn left, break. Ah, no!
Yeah. Of course. Oh, sorry. Oh my god. Jason fakes. I'm gonna crush you, Jason fakes. Peter Licker. It's not that's a really bad name. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. That's David. What? David Flacco. Did it. Second place. Not too shabby. Level up. Okay. I should stop doing that. Hey! That's one of our sample gameplays. It's GT Racing 2. So that's our gameplay of uh, GT Racing 2. Let's tap this button right here. And let's close it. There, close it. Let's close the PowerPoint. Close Fresh Paint. This one, this one, this one. Pretty snappy. That one, that one, that one. Who needs Edge? Plenty of games. Now, if you want to install Android here, you cannot install it on a separate partition. There's probably a way to do that, uh, but, but uh, my recommendation is for now, you might want to just simply download uh, an Android emulator so you can play some of your favorite games um, on uh, Android. Now, I don't know yet if uh, Remix OS may be installed here because we haven't yet uh, um, got, we haven't actually gone into its BIOS setup because one of the requirements of Remix OS is that it has to, the device has to have um, a legacy boot option. So for now here on this device, I'm not sure and probably it doesn't have any uh, legacy boot function, but hopefully it, there, will, there, there is a workaround on this one. So, yeah, so that's about it, guys. That has been our quick unboxing and impressions of the O Plus Notepad. So, there you have it, guys. This has been our quick unboxing and impressions of the O Plus USA Notepad. The O Plus USA Notepad will be available, or actually now available, for 16995 Now, if you want to buy this, it is now available at select O Plus USA stores nationwide. And stay tuned for the grand launching of O Plus USA flagship store at SMC Side Cebu. Uh, if you're near the area, just go there and take a look at their wonderful devices. So again, Guys, thank you for watching this video. If you want more videos like this, let us know in the comment section. If you want this video and if you like it, just click that uh, thumbs up button. And if you haven't followed us or subscribed to us on YouTube, just click that subscribe button as well. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day ahead.